Hi, James here, Gaming Central PH. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be reviewing the ECSMX S15. I reviewed two of their mobile gaming controllers before and I can say that it is a good brand. So if you don't want to stay for the next 9 minutes, I can understand that. Let me go ahead and give you a summary of this review video. For the price of $40, around 2,400 pesos using my code, this controller is really worth it. So if you want to stick around and find out why, let me go ahead and show you why the ECSMX S15 is one of the best Joy-Cons for this year. Let's start with the most boring part, the unboxing. One thing I like about the ECSMX packaging is that they're kind of minimalist when it comes to packaging their controller. So just in case that you want to keep the box, you can just store it somewhere and it won't consume a lot of space. The box came with just the manual, the extra thumbstick, and the charging cable. Of course, the controller. Buttons are all tactile, they're kind of mechanical, they call it mecha keys, so it's all clicky buttons. The back part has four buttons, it also has this grip feature that is molded into the controller itself. Trigger buttons are all mechanical, so just in case that you would want to play some shooter games, you won't have the satisfaction of like firing a gun. Instead, you'll have short distance press buttons. The S15 can also wake up your Nintendo Switch. I'm not sure if this is important, but the Nintendo Switch can recognize it as a great Joy-Con. It does not have HD rumble, but you have four levels of vibration level that you can adjust it to. Just have to find the right one that suits you best. Adjusting the brightness of the RGB is really easy to do. Just have to press and hold the T button and then press right if you want to increase it. Press left if you want to decre decrease the brightness level. If you don't want them to be on the same level of brightness, you can do that as well. But if you want to sync them, just do the same thing with the other controller. You can also change the pattern of the RGB if you want to. So you have to press and hold the T button and then the minus button. This is actually my favorite pattern of all. Pretty nice, right? If you want it to go steady light, just press the buttons again. If you do it one more time, you'll have an option to actually have like a rotation of colors. But this is my favorite part. You have an option to completely turn off all the RGB. But there are certain instances wherein you don't want any lights on your controller. Maybe you're trying to save some battery. Maybe you don't want that shiny light while playing in the dark. How about you? Do you prefer no lights at all? Do you like the breathing pattern, the solid light, or maybe the multicolor one? Which one do you prefer? The ECSMX S15 also advertised that they have a stand. So I was actually wondering what kind of stand are they pertaining to? So it turns out this is just the back part of it wherein you can just lay flat the controller in the surface. Yeah, it can't stand on its own. I really love the D-pad of the ECSMX S15, so it's kind of elevated, it's kind of in the upper side. It has a tactile feel to it, it's very mechanical-like buttons, and if you've seen my previous reviews, you probably know that I'm very particular when it comes to D-pad. Build quality is pretty nice, you can really see that this controller is actually made out of premium materials. It also fits great in the Switch tablet, it doesn't wiggle, so it's really nice thanks to its zipper-like railings. You can also program multiple buttons or macro buttons at the back part of the controller, just in case that you want to maximize all the buttons. You can also change the thumbstick. They do have an extra longer thumbstick just in case that you want to play first person games. A longer stick can benefit your gameplay. It's also very easy to install and don't worry since they do have the Hall Effect sticks, you're not gonna be experiencing some drifting. I'll be explaining the other features and my experience in using this controller while playing games. If I'm not mistaken, they're actually using crystallized buttons for their face buttons. So the A, B, X, Y buttons, they will never fade. The gyroscope is pretty much spot on as well. 
And as you can see right now, I'm using a Nintendo Switch version 1. So it's compatible to version 1, version 2, and Nintendo Switch OLED. It can also support Amiibo or NFC. Just so happened that right now I don't have any Amiibos lying around. Since you're using Hall Effect triggers, so it's just short distance, you don't have an option of getting a full trigger, but it's actually okay. I did mention earlier that the D-pad for the Easy SMX S15 is actually one of the best in the market right now. Thanks to its design, if you are familiar with an Xbox Elite controller, it's somehow similar to that D-pad. It's also not hard to press. I really like it. It's really soft. So the D-pad that they're using here is 100% Hadoukenable. I also would like to note that I've been switching different Nintendo Switch all throughout the video. I've been using a V1, V2, and Nintendo Switch OLED. Good thing the Easy SMX has this memory feature wherein whatever settings you have set on the controller, if you're gonna be moving to a different tablet, it will stay on. Like the RGB, the setting for the turbo, settings for the macros, it's gonna be the same. It's really amazing. Now for my final thoughts about the product. I'm gonna start first with the things that I don't like, starting with the lack of HD rumble. I do understand that they're trying to cut costs, that's why they're only selling it for around $40 or 2,400 pesos if you're gonna be using my code. That's why there's no HD rumble. But in this year, I think all controllers should have at least HD rumble. I also don't like the pointy surface that the controller has if you're gonna check the part where in the three rgb light meet like it's a triangle it's kind of pointy other than that that's it um i like everything about the controller the fact that it's now using hall effect joysticks so you're not gonna be experiencing stick drift the mechanical keys the d-pad the rgb the fact that you can turn off the lights of the controller so that you can play just like a regular joy con and of course the railings the zigzag railings i like that as well the build quality and the fact that you can only get it for just 40 dollars if you're gonna be using my code so just in case that you're interested you can go to the website of ecsmx just to let you know i'm not getting any commission for this one i think my code is actually the highest that they can give when it comes to discount simply because i'm not getting anything out of this there's no affiliate links or whatsoever so if you've reached this part of the video i just want to say thank you for staying until the end i really really appreciate you just in case that you have the time please don't forget to like and subscribe i do have a whole lineup of videos coming up so please stay tuned and lastly this video is not sponsored or whatsoever you're seeing this video same time with the team of ecsmx i'm not actually paid to do this video that's all